Okay. So we're going to watch this video. And what I need you to do is take a look at where the guy is. If you can see him. There he is. There he is. Okay. So you're going to... There we go. So take a look at where this guy is. You want to pay attention to the height of his waist. Okay? Because you're going to watch him walk up this slide. You're going to watch him slide down the slide. And then you're going to graph his, his journey on the back yourself. Okay? So, but first time through, you just watch it. So you just get to watch what happens. You don't have to um, do anything. So you get to watch it a couple times. So there's no height or anything, or no sound. So it's showing you that the height of his waist is the y-axis in feet. The time is in seconds. I know it's not very clear. So just watch him. Every little thing he does is a different segment on the graph, isn't it? And he stands up. Okay. So, everybody kind of have an idea in their head? Okay, I'm going to let you watch it again. And then after you watch it a second time, I want you to do a, you have a lot of graphs there. I want you to do a rough draft of what you think it is. Then I let you watch it in half time, meaning it slows it down, and then you can make adjustments. So go ahead and decide. Like, I really paid attention to, okay, how long did it take him to get there? That's segment one. Segment two. This is segment three. <laughs> I, was, I was doing that. I was. Okay. Sketch your drawing. Sketch what you think. Okay, now, and here's a couple other things. Do we know how tall he is? No. So where you start at, or do we know the height, actual height of the slide? No, but I'm not concerned about if it's in the correct spot on the graph. Is the path correct? That's all. So my guess is that most men are about five, six feet tall. The waist would be, you know, three feet, half of it. So it just gives you a good starting point. Okay, so remember, this is just a rough draft. So... When you're, and you're going to um, get to watch it again in slower motion. And then right next to it, you're going to draw a second graph. You're not going to change the first graph. You're going to draw a complete new one. Because after, this is what we did um, when I was out Tuesday. This is where I went. We learned all these kinds of cool sites that, that do these things. Um, so I even, Miss Everingham and I did this station together. And we really adjusted our graph. There were a few things we didn't account for. Do we want to watch it half time? Meaning it just, each second takes two seconds, right? So, I won't count. Painfully slow. Okay, go ahead and make any adjustments to your graph that you would like because next up is the answer. So I'm going to show you the exact journey and then you're going to match it up against yours to see how... You're going, one of your learning, yes, you're going to have to not create the graph, but I'm going to give you a graph, and you're just going to have to say segment A, this is happening, and B, he's standing still. C, he's going back fast or whatever. No, you're not going to have to create it. All right, ready for the answer? So I had him starting about three. Let's stop for a second and look at that. 
So as we look at that, what is this first second right here? It's just kind of him putting his first leg up and getting on the step. So it took him one second. And then what would segment B right here? What would that mean? He's walking up, and it's a steady pace, but he's walking up, okay? Um, and his the height is increasing. And it took him about a little bit, five and a half seconds to get up there. What's happening right here? He, he kind of stops for a second, okay? What's happening here? Actually, what happens right here? I'm sorry. He's not stopping right here. Think about what the picture of the slide looked like. After he climbed the top of the slide, he had to do what to get to the slide? Yeah, he had to walk across to get there. This is his waist sitting down. And what's going on here? So he's sitting at about six and a half feet for four or five seconds. Remember that pause? And then what's going on here? So it takes him from second 12 to it takes him about a second and a half to get down the slide. And then what's this little thing at the end? Did you notice where he kind of stood up like that? Okay, very good. Okay, so that's one. Let's do, this is a fun one. So you are watching um, the height of, the, her, of her bum, of her butt. All right, so where's her butt at in comparison? And I know, I don't know how tall those things are. You're just going to have to guess. They decided to go up to 40. Takes her a little while. Getting her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So think about that. Right away, how is this one different from the other one? She said Artie's up there. So I'll give you, I'll let you watch it again. Seven seconds. Okay, go ahead and sketch. Okay, we're going to skip the half time. Anybody think they have an answer? All right, maybe we're not. It's, I'm using the site, so I just want you to see the answer. So, those things are way higher than you think. She gets up for a second, and there's the first one. There's that first little jog, right? So does, now look, you see that thing at the end? Did anybody do that line at the end for the last four seconds? Okay, because what was that? She sl she still went for a good four seconds after that. Okay, which one? The full speed. So your assignment. I'll show that for whoever wants to see it. Your assignment is going to be your to flip that purple sheet over, and there's a race between four sisters. Oh, do you want to see the answer again? Or the whole thing? So the race between four sisters, you have to do a couple things. You have to tell me who came in first, second, third, and fourth. You have to um, describe the, the type of race they ran. Did somebody just run really fast, really hard? Did somebody, I don't want to give any words away or hints or anything, but so ex explain to me um, what happened in that race.
Yes. Yes, it was at like eight. Not yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Cool. And I need my little bumps a little bit too. Yeah. I don't like to. They weren't so settled. It was like 